djembe slap too, you know, which will sound, say if I had a, a soloistic thing, like if I could be playing a groove thing, I'm going to use more of it. without changing position. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah. I've never seen anybody really slap in the same position they're playing. That's that's really the key to going, switching back and forth fast, I think. You found that too? You've done that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you, you play from congas too? Just try it with me. You want to hit one? I think we have a small enough class. We can, you want to play one? I'm um, good. You're okay. Just try a tone really quick. Just a straight tone is this way. Yeah. And then you would lean this away too, so you didn't let the sound out, right? Do that. Yeah, and then a slap, you're coming up and cupping. Yeah, more fingertips. Almost. And now you need a little more wrist than arm. Like that. You know what I'm saying? So you just practice. If you do this, it's a little harder and you'll get more tired than, than wrist. Make sense? Cool. It's just another great thing to practice with these drums. So, similarly, you, when you go to this thing, you really work on that both, both sounds there. The, the frame drum, this being a tar from North Africa. I'm really going to go right for the edge with one finger or any of the fingers. I'm going to stay on the edge and reach to the middle for the low note. Right? That's a doom or a tone. Tone, slap, we can call that doom tech. So you really have a, diff, a, a diff, defined... This is really cool. 